Hello and welcome to The Blobber Plays EU4. I was getting a little bit sick of the mindless blobbing that was going on in our Down With the Revolution campaign, so I decided to work on one of the other achievements that I don't have yet. Blood for the Sky God as a Tangri Nation, have Nakwatl as your syncretic faith. So our aim is to try and take over a fair area of sort of Upper Manchuria, whatever here, being careful to avoid taking Chengdu, or else China, Ming, gets a nasty CB on you for I WANT YOUR CHINESE LAND! Uh, and they are not afraid of using it. Uh, but the basic idea will be to try and island, island hop, jump over here, bearing straight, come down a little bit and get down to the Aztecs so that we can get Nahuatl as our sing syncretic faith. I always go to say synthetic. Um, anyway, as here and here, we start off the closest to the Bering Strait out of the major church and tribes. Uh, we're going to look to make Boyatia our vassal and then use them to try and absorb the rest of the tribes here. And then maybe think about where we're at, but we'll see. They like us at the moment. Might be worth pursuing an alliance in the meantime. Anyway, we've got some diplomats, so we'll send one here. We are going to send all our units over to Bayatia because we basically want to declare war straight away on them to vassalize them. Uh, we will probably take this. Eh, it's kind of helpful in a kind of way. Uh, let's look at these border provinces because we're going to have to call them. That one would be nice to have claims on. And in terms of fortune, none of those are. And we need a free diplomat to declare that war, so I think that's it. Uh, we will get rid of these boats if we can. Hey, you hate us. Korea, you also hate us. Uh, what about parts of Japan? Maybe sell off these boats. Anyone, please. I just, I just want them out of my hands. No, you don't want them. too far away. Well, we'll wait for it to waddle down here. And we'll see. As for the rest, I kind of do want the transports if I'm going to go over there, I think, maybe. So we'll keep them for now and have them doing the whole protect trade, go home at war thing. Now, for starting merchants, well, there's no point in doing much of anything. We have range here. <coughs> I suppose we could collect trade, but it would reduce our efficiency here. There is nowhere upstream of us to push from that we can see yet. So we'll just leave things as they are. Uh, our income isn't such that we can really afford any advisors. Although the disciplined guy might be an idea. Um, and the tribes, we can ask them to contribute warriors straight away. Which might be an idea really. What about raise host? Mm. I think we'll just take, take we want your warriors for the moment. So, up speed, check that we don't have any forts we don't need, we don't. Wait for our units to get over here. And declare war and bury out here. whilst we pursue this Oirat alliance. And we'll declare them as friendly, so that they know we want the alliance. Also, who do you hate? Changtai. Can I rival Changtai? Declare... Oh, yeah, we don't want to declare these rivals yet, because it will make them hate us more, so we'll just avoid it. Nobles demand privileges, prestige or unrest. Goodbye, prestige. And we have got some conversions to do on our island here. We could up this and start conversions, so we might as well. 
Oh, and we'll have a look at some of these extra ideas we get. Encourage divination. Stability cost modifier for unrest. Mm, yeah. Religious sacrifices. That one's just pure good. Introduce vision quest. Stability cost modifier for yearly prestige. Mm. Have a theologian in order to get extra tolerance. Yeah, that's cool. Have a theologian to get extra missionary strength. That's also cool. So we really would like to get a theologian. Is there anything else it requires? Just have a theologian? Have a theologian. So we've got to keep an eye out for a theologian. In any case, the month is nearly up, so we can almost get to the war. And group up everyone, and declare. Ooh, they'd even offer us an alliance, but we don't really care about that. Sorry, you're to be my vassal. Make our general king. Doesn't matter so much if he dies while well, you've got a stupid young heir because then you get the no boy can be, no child can be calm. Although I suppose it also applies to girls. In terms of armies, we rather outnumber them, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. It's not like they have any meaningful forts, so we should just be able to smush, smush wherever they run to. We send one here, we send one to stay here, these guys can merge up. 11 versus 8 should be plenty, even with the modifier for defense of their native lands. Up speed to speed 4. Okay, here we go, we are receiving a shock damage reduction because of stuff and things. Now we leave one here. Send everyone else on. And look, they have built a unit there. But too little too late. And smush. So we consolidate, leave a unit here, have everyone else come up here. Now that one's finished, we can move them on there. That will finish off that. I would like to... Eh, might as well go there. We'll keep improving here. How many do we need to leave here? We need to leave four, so we'll do that. One, two, three, four. Everyone else can come over here. In fact, that's where we'll send everyone. Well, we can actually leave that guy here. So we'll do that. Like this. You can also come here. Now, are there any of these guys we might be able to... Nope, they all hate us. With fiery, fiery vengeance. <sighs> what about these guys? Any one of you who might be able to get? Nope. Well, actually, yes, you would. Except for the fact that we're in a war. Would you maybe vassalize? No, because we're too far away. So we'll just vassalize you or claim you. Can we, can we reach you? Yes, we can. So we'll get a claim going on them. Start working towards this bearing jump. Now our other option is going to be to support Mongolia's independence. But seeing as we don't border where we're at, it's not too helpful for us. We can't take a chunk of land at the same time for ourselves. Up to speed 5 because it's not going to be much else to do. Sign our king in case he dies during a war. Very good. How are we doing for force limit? We're nice and at our force limit. Extra. Come on. Yes. Nope. Come on, and fall. And fall. There we go. And we say, you are now my vassal, and you give me all your money. 
or at least a significant fraction of your money. There we go. Boom. Send these guys down, but split into two groups. So, one here, one here, same here. That has given us a, a way of getting there, so we will maybe ship some units here and then attack for that. And once we've got that one, we can go there. And once we've got that one, or well, actually we can also go there. So those transports... Oh, we forgot to sell off our boats. Silly me. So... Uh, they're at war. What about you guys? Would you like my boats? Not even for no money. Someone's got to want my boats. At war. At war. You. Take my boats. Please. I want five fewer galleys when I'm selling them for. So they want fewer galleys than they actually have. Well done. What about Japan? I can't even give my ships away. Korea hates me. Ming! No, apparently my ships aren't in range. Well, away with them then. If we can't sell them, we don't want them costing us upkeep. Now, we might as well continue fabricating if we're going to take these lands. Check that none of them have an alliance with... Ooh, that could be nasty. With any of the others. So I should probably declare war with for this one an annex. But let's do that first. So, um, grab the ships, tell them to come up here. Do the same for the army. Both armies. And fabricate on the other one as well. Well, actually, let's check how are our potential alliance with Oirat going. They will accept a royal marriage, and then they would accept an alliance. Perfect. Let's do that, because it protects us from these other tribes. They say yes, please, to an alliance. <clears throat> I'll leave that improving. The only other thing we'll do is offer them military access. So they want us to join their war when they have not joined my war. <sighs> You're pretty traitorous, Oi Rat, I gotta say. And you were winning your war. You have no reason not to accept it. Ugh. I don't see why I should lose prestige if they have an ally uh, on the alliance. Anyway. How many units do they have? Eight? Oh, this is easy. Easy peasy. So we go... Let's both walk this way. You know what? I'm going to accept this even though... Are you at war with anyone other than Uzbek? No, I'm going to accept this and show that I'm better than you, Oirat. I am a better man than you. I'm not going to do anything. But I've accepted. Now, back up to speed 3. We can work on fabricating here. These have basically merged together. Make sure our king is on the one that's slightly behind. So... 7, 19, 15. So that one is the one that can have the king to help try and catch up. Oh, hello! 10 ducats for a 100 tradition general. Why, I don't mind if I do. <clears throat> 5, 4, 3, 2... Five, four, three, two, and you know what he's going to do for us? He's going to make sure that every war is won. <sighs> Reinforce.
reinforcements will not quite arrive in time, maybe. No, they do. And then we are going to chase to make sure that that all goes well. In the meantime, we will leave enough units behind to do some sieging. Don't want them improving their situation. Yep, like they were trying to do. Thankfully they spawn with zero... <clears throat> next to zero morale. So you can move across. Chattels. As for these guys, they can form up on Giran. Assign the general until we're ready to go to war again. That will do for sieging there. They've got some rebel problems. Good. You, you traitorous swine. How much do our people hate you? Not even all that much. And we could consider also fabricating on Hainu. They would make another nice vassal. Got a fair bit of reinforcement to do, admittedly. But we're good for gold. So we're up to speed four. Maybe our minion will help there a bit. <clears throat> there we go. That's enough to load a boat. Now actually, do I have the range to core this? That would be an interesting problem. Uh, is it that one? Is it... Which one is it? Is it this one? No. Must be this one. How do I tell if it's outside of my range now? I'm sure one of these used to do it. But I suppose in the worst case we make them a vassal and integrate them. I like vassals. As long as I tell them to fabricate on the other two. Yeah, there are some natives there. We don't mind. We do not mind at all. <laughs> Fabricate some more. Fabricate some more. Oh, no. Grab them. Come on over. Uh, 
fabricate some more. Tell the boats to let all the men off. Very good. We are at max with what we're at, which means we are able to declare this war. Put him back in charge so we don't suffer any attrition. Ming went to war with someone? Yep, there we... Ooh, they claimed a province. Thankfully they can't do anything about it. We don't intend to... We don't intend to... <clears throat> vassalize them and get dragged in. We just intend to claim it, take it all outright. We might want to improve relations with Ming. Oh no, but we wanted to start this war, didn't we? So let's do that first. And then we'll finish that war. But, start the next one. Mine. Come back up here. We can tell the Navy that they don't need to stay here where they can't get supplies. But we can piece out here. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, all mine. And mine. Wow. Money is expensive at the moment. Oh well. In fact, maybe we should just leave them with that. There's something to be said for it. China can't declare war on us until they fabricate the next set. And it gives us a whole lot of extra money. Well, not a whole lot of extra money. I changed my mind. Okay, right. we'll take that. And as much money as we can. There we go. We go in, we make sure to increase autonomy everywhere. Not that it will be much help to us. We have a look. Might be worth firing some of these guys and looking for a theologian. Meanwhile, philosopher, treasurer, inquisitor. The inquisitor is actually kind of useful. Not that we can afford them that much. We'll take the inquisitor for a while. Everything else can wait. Um, except improving relations with Ming. And let's check that that isn't a China region province, because I hate it when that happens. No, this is definitely not China. Go to war with them, not me. Not me. I'll improve, I'll buy the diplomat if I have to, to get that royal marriage, just to prevent him from declaring war on us over the same province. I need to leave four. One, two, three, four. We'll leave one more, just in case. Hop on the boats. Come back home. You know what? Let's go help. Nothing better to do. We can earn some trust. These are still ticking up, and now they're not far away from... Oh, they want more land. Uh, well, might as well give them all the new land. Helps. Or it will help. Prevent... Rebellions there. Why are they feeling rebellious? Opinion, all vassals relative power. You don't have that much relative power, you fools. I'll take the lower spy defense. Claims fabricated, goody goody. One more. No, several more. Oh yes, because we've got new borders. But in any way, we want these to be loyal, so we will spend time doing all of that.
couple more ticks and then that will be ours. There we go. So let's stop that briefly. I should have waited for the end of month tick, but oh well. Now we find out the hard way that I can't actually do that, but I can do this. And then I can say money. Sure thing. Now, I would also like you to know that I want these. I am hostile to them. So if you could fabricate, that would be brilliant. Aside from this, we want to get those units back home. And to improve. Back with you. We will actually spend our <clears throat> prestige down. The other one will come down with heaps quickly with force vassalized, was at war, blah 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 blah. So now we just wait and want to integrate them, whilst we try and keep things with Ming and whatnot as hunky-dory as possible. Oh, but he's changed his opinion of us. That is not good news. Well, we'll just keep, keep at it. The fabricate still here. Oh, I should call the others. Um, Buy that down once? Nah, we'll just core anyway. One, two, three. And down. Actually, let's stop coring that one and burn it down. Then core it. Same, grain is a crappy trade good. Although we shouldn't have given it to the tribe, no. So we won't undo those because we gave them to the tribes. I should have burnt them down before we gave them to the tribes, but oh well, my mistake. There we go. Every <clears throat> everything that's important is coring. Now, they want an alliance again, and I say, try better this time. You useless, useless allies. I'm willing to move forwards. Help out a bit. No kid can be calm. It's actually pretty good, because it means we get a 636 straight away. Now, the other guy is going to improve here we would like them to also be loyal. Let's see if we can't squish that single stack. Or are they going to run into... No, they should win that, and then I should win this. Oop. They avoided me. Let's try again. All sorts of rebel things happening here. There we go. Oh, look at me. I have some contribution. <laughs> not much, but it is something. And with that something, we will run home. They'll owe us some favours. It's not long till we can begin integrating Boyatia. Hmm, beg pardon. 
things are still all right here. If we keep improving with Ming, they might stop hating us eventually. Or we might just have to give them that province. Thankfully, we haven't caught it. Unhappy artisans or lose money? Money it is. There's a core that, there, yeah, there's the core that we can't do until we get Ming off our back. And in the meantime, we're improving with our two minions and we should probably make another claim. Let's do, actually, let's go do, well, no, we shouldn't do Ainu until we can integrate Boyatia. So we'll wait, we'll do more, more fabricating here. I don't think they'll get a secondary alliance. There we go, they owe us some favours. Rat bastards, that they are. Traitorous rat bastards. Send everyone to here. Now, let's have a look. They've got 11 and 12, which is what, 22? I can field... I can field 20, actually. So let's drop our maintenance down and see if we can't hire up to 20. You're enough. Actually, could we use the tribes thingy? We could. I think we will. They're more expensive to maintain, but they are a better unit. And they gave us a general. Not that we need more generals. Keep the one that we, the event 100 tradition general for now. The extra units should also help keep our vassals in check. Oh, and we need to recover. Well, we'll wait for these two to cause to finish and then we'll do that. In any case, anything else is going to have to wait for the next episode because it's time to end this episode. In the blobber with our blood for the blood god. No, blood for the sky god campaign. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join us again soon.